Oh, oh, oh. It's almost, it's almost there, it's almost there. Oh. Ah. That's a damn fine good cup of coffee. Whew. Yo everybody, it is Rock of the Great coming to you with another video. Now in today's video, we actually have a lot of things we're gonna be doing. We have some stuff we're gonna be opening. I have some packages. I don't know what actually is in there. What? And it's gonna be a fun one. So stick around, make sure you guys are hitting that like button. Give me feedback. I'm always listening to feedback. So, all right, let's start off with this real quick. I have a PO box if you guys wanna send stuff in. Everything gets opened in a PO box, like on video. So I have a, a whole playlist. If you send something in and you wanna see if your stuff got opened, check out the PO box thing. Now, uh, a really awesome viewer sent this in knowing I was looking for this and I couldn't find it. And oh, I already, I missed out on this first one. Uh, this one's the one going on right now. I missed out on this one. So if anyone could actually find this one, let me know if it's at your store. So we have, today we have this one. What I thought would be cool is, so someone sent this in. For those of you who don't know what this is, this is a 25th anniversary Pikachu oversized card uh, binder. And this binder, I couldn't find it anywhere, so a viewer saw it, then knew I was looking for it, sent it into the P.O. box. Very awesome. Perfect. And I thought, for just to show my appreciation and a cool little thing we could do, I do these random what I bought today or what I bought this week videos where they're kind of like mini toy reviews, just mixed with also just hanging out so we talk about stuff. And I thought, Every month when I find these, I will buy these and open them up and put them in the, the thing so it'll be like a thing we do and at the end of the year, hopefully we can complete this. Let's open this actually first. We have some reviews, but let's open this first so we can get this, but we'll wait to the end to open this to put the cards in because that will that's what I will do at the end of all my, uh, all of these toy reviews. I will just do uh, like at the end, like a, how I open up a pack of cards. Oh, so March, I missed that one out. So, um... This is the one I have. I saw this at my Target, so I'll go pick this one up on my next toy hunt. Then we have June, even though I didn't see those at June, I actually saw those. But I'm gonna make sure I keep this list so I know. And then October, that's the one everyone's gonna be freaking out about, the original Kanto. Really awesome. I really like this. I think this is a cool idea. Here's the, let me just take a look at the, uh, oh yeah, look at that. So this will be fun. So let's. Start this binder off and put it in as the first card in our binder. All right, let's do it. You ready? Boom, boom, boom. Beautiful. And now we'll open this up later and I'll skip three So for our first month. So let's take this out of here and let's get to toys. I know a lot of you guys aren't really, you know, the biggest Pokemon fans. I know from when I do Pokemon content on this channel, it is like my least, it, it still does pretty okay but it's just like my least watched for some reason. I, I guess people, even though Pokemon is super huge, people aren't liking it from me at least. You'll see on a recent toy hunt, I actually found this at a Walgreens when I was buying my grandma stuff for her birthday. Perfect. So shout out to my grandma. <laughs> okay. I am so in, uh, loving um, My Hero Academia and I apologize for talking smack in the past about it. You know. I'm, I just, I like to talk smack, like I used to call it My Hero Macadamia Nut, and I still do, but now I just know what characters I'm talking about. So this is Bakugan, I call him. His name is, um, that's the one thing I have to say about this, um, this My Hero Academia is, they, they have all like super Japanese names. So it's like, I don't want to feel like a poser. It's like when someone who's non-Italian tries to speak Italian, like, oh, the fish and mozzarella, blah, blah, blah. It's like, you know, I feel your pain, dude. So I try to like, I'm not going to be sitting here like thinking I speak Japanese. So his name is uh, Katsuki uh, Baku. Bakuga Goo. What? Bakugan. Shut up! So that's how I say it. Just like, uh, you know, people call me Ravioli Man. Same way, back and forth. So, <laughs> but yeah, I just, and the same thing like with the main character, like this guy, his name is like, is Amoki Maki Maki, but, and I just call him Deco, Deku, or Deco, because that's like his name that he gave. Uh, you have to know to watch it, but yeah, that's my like one thing about this anime. It's like, and obviously it's not my problem, but it's, uh, I mean, it's only my problem. You know, it's not a problem, it's just my problem. And it's just fine because I just won't say the name. It's not necessarily like something I care about. It's just like, 
I don't, I don't know how to pronounce it properly, so I'm not gonna try. And I'm definitely not gonna be like the weeb who's trying to speak Japanese. I, you know, I barely could speak Italian or English. I barely could speak English, guys. Give me a break. So here we go. This is his rival. This is Deku's rival or Deku's rival. And I found a little, uh, like a tip from, like a hack. Pop out their joints. Their joints will pop out. Their shoulder joints are fairly easy. And take out that little ring. So you like. Uh, of course, it's not on him, but I'll show you on another figure. Um, so he has double jointed elbows, which is really nice. He's got th uh, bicep swivel. He's got ab crunch, even though you can't tell because of the shirt. He's got like double jointed neck. Really, I'm actually really glad I got this figure. Um, it, it looks kind of basic because this is their, um, what is it, that UA, the Olympics thing that they did, the tournament. So we have double jointed these are pretty good for the price point. These are definitely 20 bucks. McFarlane, I, I talked a lot on McFarlane, you know, like talked a lot of smack. I have to say they're pretty good. Now, a thing I'm thinking is you could swap out these hands for the eraser head figure. So that's a little, uh, I'm gonna be trying to do that maybe so I get more hands because that eraser head figure came with no hands. Now, d does he hold this in his hand like that? Uh, what? He holds fire in his hand? Isn't his... His quirk is that he explodes stuff. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this. Um, yeah, no, I'm, I'm saying, am I thinking of the right guy? No, yeah, this is Bakugan. So that's cool. It's like him just holding the little fl flame thing. But I don't know what you actually do with this. Uh, just stick it in his hand like, <laughs> look at him. Hey, Baizan. So let's let's just get a little size comparison. Now, he looks really tall. But again, in the, in the anime, he might be tall. I'm not remembering correctly. And um, here we have uh, Deku or Deku or is it Maga Maga Maga? Oh, look, see his his arm popped out. I took that little circle uh, washer thing out of it, so now he has like much better range of motion on his elbow, uh, his shoulders. So I guess that's pretty good, yeah, because he like looks down on him. And this figure, I think his hair is just too up. I think if you take his hair off, I'm, I saw that it's poorly glued on. I'm gonna try to rip that hair off and then like shave his head a little bit and try to lower the hair so it kind of covers his eyes and his eyebrows a little bit. Um, and it'll look, I think it'll look much better. Like his ears and, and his, he has like, his hair is supposed to be much further down. But that's not a review of this figure. So one, one figure down, I'm very happy with that. If I'm thinking what's in here is in here, then this is another case of like, yep, okay, so I'm very excited to have what's in here right now. And uh, so before I started My Hero Academia, I was actually watching this anime as well. So I'm, I'm a little bit into this anime. And this is Yu Yu Hazuki, um, Ghost Detective, again with the, it's like a lot of Japanese names. I do not feel comfortable. Yeah, see Spirit Detective. Ghost Detective, basically he's a 14 year old kid who, it, this is the first episode, it's not really a spoiler. He dies, but he dies saving a kid, but he's like a delinquent and he's like kind of like a bad kid, but he's like a good kid. And so they give him a, like a second chance. Oh, I'm drinking some iced coffee. Guys, right now, let me know. Are you are you chilling out right now watching my video? I It's really nice hearing that people get excited when I post something. They get like their snack and they like put it on the TV and everything like that makes me feel really good. If you're watching this right now on your TV, I know you can't comment because you're on the TV, but if you could go remember later, leave a comment, let me know. Do you watch this on the TV? What are you drinking right now? I want to know. Anybody else chilling out with me? I know when... People that I like, like Max Mofo or somebody makes a new video, I get real excited, I make a little iced coffee, and I just I just relax, man. I, I, YouTube is my thing. Uh, it's really cool to participate in it, but I also just love watching other people on here. All right, so this is um, another figure. Backstory on this is, this is like a bootleg, but it's not really a bootleg because it never existed. Like, the figures for this this uh, show never actually existed. It's an anime from like the, the, I believe, 80s. And I just love the vibe of the 80s animes, 90s animes. They're they're much different. They're, I, I enjoy, there's good, good and bad things from all different types, but um, I do like the animation style of the 80s. They had different faces, like as you'll see with him. They had different eyes. Anime has definitely changed and grown over the years. Oh. All right, so we're gonna have to do it this way. 
pop, pop, pop. And what's, oh, they're face plates. I thought we were getting full heads and I was gonna try to pop his head onto other bodies. I hate that they do that, man. They need to, it's so weird, the, the time, of, the age we're living in, that um, there's just like companies now that make their own figures, like of, of things that will, will never, that should, like, that never have gotten um, toys in the past. I don't know, I don't know what I'm saying, guys, please. Leave a comment just roasting me to death. All right, so I'm trying to stick this into the peg and it, it won't. I hate that. La oh, here it is. Lately, I've I've been actually having trouble with uh, the pegs on stuff lately. There we go. Yeah. So he has that finger blast. Ooh, look at that. This is cool. Let me let me zoom in a little bit. Uh, anyone else watch this show, Spirit Detective? It's a really cool action figure. And when I saw this action figure, I just loved the design and it made sure I had this figure on my list, uh, the anime on my list to watch. And then once I saw the figure, I go, oh, that, that anime is getting pushed up because it looks really cool and it didn't disappoint. Uh, I really do like this figure and I really like this anime. I definitely want to get another one of these if I ever see it. Uh, he's a cool character and I, I, ho I hope we get other people from this. I guess you could call him Yu Yu, right? He has like a, a, a very Japanese name. Very good articulation. He has one of those like super articulated bodies underneath. Now it's kind of looking like this. Yeah, it's kind of looking like it's the those uh, body kyun bodies. He comes with uh, plain feet right here. He, can, he comes with a bunch of extra hands. Goodness, I usually like keeping them in the thing to do these reviews, but now I don't know who this is yet. I'm guessing it's the egg creature that hatches from his egg, right? Because I know he has to, he has to hatch an egg. Uh, I'm still early in the anime right now. Um, this is cool. He's got a little briefcase. Let me see. Let me. See. I, I think the head. That head is really nice. <laughs> Zing. Um, that head sculpt is really nice. I, I'm, I'm very, I'm, I'm impressed with this figure in hand. Again, I bought it like second hand, so I paid like about double than people who pre-ordered it. But I learned my lesson, and I'll probably buy it again when they open up the pre-orders again. Oh, look at that. Yeah, this figure is really cool. Um, he has the shooting spirit. Let's pop this hand. Oh, okay. And uh. Yeah, he could, he, it's kind of like the force. They have this like energy. Everybody has the energy around them. And if you like learn how to channel it, you can shoot it. And that's what this is. It's like his, his blast he shot out right there. So I'm really happy. This one's staying on my desk. I'm going to be playing with him big time. Very cool. Let's keep moving guys. Cause I know this is like a lot of people like, who the hell is this? I don't even know what this is. Definitely check it out. Uh, Yu Yu, uh, y Yuzuki. Uh, spirit detective ghost detective it's a Japanese anime from the 80s definitely check it out and uh, roast me if you think I'm I'm a poser or something because like I don't care about I don't care about knowing everything about a thing just to enjoy it that's my that's my big stance actually because now that everything is so ner nerdy it's like really Im important to let people know like you don't have to be a freaking professional nerd like I I like things and I enjoy them and I get what I want out of them and then I, I move on. Like I don't, I don't care about knowing every single thing about, I don't even, I said this before um, when people went crazy with my, with my Lord of the Rings name pronunciations and stuff. I don't care. That's the thing. I could watch a thing and be a big fan of it and like it and I, I genu generally, gen generously? No. Honestly, I don't even know what I'm saying. I honestly could care less. I really could care less because you know why? I like things for me and I think a lot of people live for other people and they like things for other people. I don't need your approval for me to like something. Does that make sense to people or do I sound like a crazy person? Either way, I don't care. I like things for fun, especially nerdy things. You know, like I enjoy watching Lord of the Rings. Uh, I like the scenery, I like the practical effects, I like the makeup, and, and like the lore, and, and like I don't even, like I know they got a ring and they were doing this stuff, like I don't really care. I don't care about the names, um, you know, I know Gandalf, obviously, you know, I know Gandalf, um, and Gremlin, I call him Gremlin, the, this guy right here I have, actually I have his toy right here, I call him Gremlin, we got Legos right here, we got Legos. I just think any time you're gatekeeping people or just being a like a turd, 
It's just like, it really shows that you're just a turd. Like, I don't, I don't care. Uh, this guy, he's the nerd from My Hero Academia. And um, his brother was a hero and he wanted to be a hero. And then his brother uh, gets attacked. And I, I you know, I don't want to say anything uh, kind of spoilery, but... Uh, he really, when I first saw him, I will admit, I thought, oh no, this character is going to be so annoying. And he becomes one of, like, the characters that are really cool. You have to re remember that these are just kids that we're watching and they're learning and they're growing. So, uh, when people were telling me, uh, you know, when you get into My Hero, the main character is like a crybaby in the beginning. And I'm like, I was worried about that. And then when I was watching, I was like, oh yeah, because he's a, he's a kid, he doesn't know anything and he's growing and learning. So... Here's two hands. He's got two gun shooting hands. Cause if he ever wants to get, uh, if he wants to get stain, he just starts getting the grip and he just starts shooting the people. But this is cool. He has. Oh yeah, these are down here. Okay, look at that. Yeah. So he has. His design's pretty cool. I like that you get two of his. Um, oh, you have to get this in for. Like this is serious to get this in. You have to probably take this back off. Yeah, this is, to get these in, too much work right now. It is cool that, hold on, does his head pop off pretty easy? Oh, that's not good, his whole neck, his whole neck popped off. If you're gonna have a swappable head, oh, you're gonna wanna make sure it's easy to swap, but the cool thing about having this extra head is, you could have this character on your shelf, and then you could have, uh, like you put this on a different body, you get two characters out of this. I always like extra heads. Uh, head is great, you know, head is awesome. So anytime you get multiple head, uh, it's, then it's it's just, uh, br don't break, don't break. Um, all right, uh, his head's not fully on, but that'll do for now. Very cool, let's see size comparison. Um, yeah, these figures are kind of all over the damn place, but again, for 20 bucks, I will not complain. I guess they're pretty in scale. Yeah, I definitely need to redo his head. His head looks huge because his hair, it should be covering some of it, so the bottom lower half will look smaller. Cause like, look at look at his head. Well, he definitely does have a big head though. Anyway, all right. Now this is like my f like new Pokemon thing that I bought. Um, that I'm gonna be opening it. Uh, ooh. Oh, it has like a little. All right. So supposedly this is supposed to have um, two packs of cards in it. Also, so we're gonna put the cards in the binder, and then we're also going to. Um, we're also going to open a two packs of cards on here. So wish me luck on those Very cool. We got Rowlett, Litten. I actually really do like these starters um, Sun and Moon era is pretty nice. I have to say I didn't play it really. I played it a little bit I just don't have the time to get through all these things I am really focused on my YouTube channel and growing this so one two three and so we'll start him here so what's the what's the order? One, two, and three. So we'll start with we'll start with this. We'll put him here. Oh, yeah. We'll put Rowlet there, and then we'll put Litten on the back of Rowlet, and then we'll put Poplio in his own little thing over here. All right. So look at already. We're doing pretty good on here. Skip. Hopefully we'll go get that pack. Then we got Rowlet. Poplio. This is going to be fun if we complete this on, you know, on the channel. So I'm going to keep that there next to my review station. And anything else in here? No, I'm going to keep this bag too because I'm just a hoarder. And we have Battle Styles and Sun and Moon. So this is a really... Well, not really old, but like 2015 pack, and then this is like one of the current packs. So that's actually cool. I've never opened or seen what's in a Battle Styles pack. So let's, we'll start with the Sun and Moon. Now, guys, let me, please leave comments down below if you want to join the channel membership. I really appreciate that. Definitely look into becoming a channel member if you could afford it. If you can't, um, that's okay. Just hit the like button and share these videos out when possible. Also, if you want to buy some merch, Buy my 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 merch. We got a, a ton of merch on the channel and I'm always open to suggestions. So if you have something you want to see in merch, uh, let me know. Now, I think that's a good thing. So here we go. We might have a hologram. So that's a code card for you guys. And I don't know the card trick, so I'm not going to try. 
Um, and let's just hope, guys. Let's hope. So we have a Sandy Gas, Tratini, Diglett. These are all Alolan. I do like the Alolan vibes. Very cool. Skarmory. Uh-oh. Pinsir. And oh, okay. So at least we did get a hologram. Okay. We did get a hologram. So it's better than nothing. But I don't even know. It's like that rock guy. Uh, Gigalith. And then we have... Oh, Torcat and Poison Barb. Okay, so we actually got a hit. Um, you know, it's not too exciting because it's like the newer Pokemon that I don't really honestly care about. Guys, I'm honest. I don't, I don't do things to fit in and I don't do things that everybody likes uh, for anybody else. So I, I tell you guys what I feel and I think that's why a lot of you too, hang out with me too. I think that's why a lot of you guys um, mess with me because I, I do kind of keep it as real as I can. So here we go. There's the card. Hopefully you guys, let me know if you took the card. Let me know if you took the card. Um, here, I got Marwile. We got Onyx. Here, let's zoom in. We have Remorate. Oh, I want to look at the art though. Okay, so uh, I'm liking that Onyx. Marwile is cool. You know, oh, the Knit. I love the Knit Pokemon. I feel like people don't ever look at the card art enough. Ooh, that's nice. That's nice. We got more Peko or more Pico. Ooh, Marowak about to whack you with a bone. Oh, I thought that was our star. Okay. Oh, what was the? Oh, more. Ha. Huh. That was supposed. That's the rare, quote unquote rare. Oh, but I did. Did I get a reverse? Guys, I did not get. Oh, this is a reverse. Whoa, so lightly. Look at that. You blew it. All right. Thanks for watching guys. Please definitely do all those things so I can make pack at least on the Pokemon cards with this video. Uh, hit that like button. Make sure and let me know if you got those code cards. Alright, bye guys. Stay great. Love you all. Peace.